the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. When upon life's billows you are tempest tossed, when you are discouraged thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has. You are listening to the Good Night Message with your servant, Father Eustace Yame, a selection of Don Bosco, on this Wednesday, the 31st of July, 2024, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University in Rome, Italy, with an encouraging and strengthening message entitled, Thanking God for what has been and trusting Him for what will be. Are you ever burdened with a load? As we come to the end of this month of July, it's an opportune time to look back and thank God for his manifold blessings, lessons, and guidance. Every moment we have experienced, whether filled with joy, challenge, or growth, has been part of his divine plan, weaving together the tapestry of our lives with grace and purpose. Reflecting on what has been, we are reminded of the words of King David in Psalm 103 verse 2, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Each day that has passed is a testament to his faithfulness. Whether we have seen triumphs or faced trials, his presence has never wavered. He has walked with us through valleys and over mountain tops, ensuring that we are never alone. Seven months have passed and God has shown his faithfulness. Gratitude changes our perspective. It shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have been given. This act of remembering his goodness as Psalm 77 verse 11 encourages I will remember your wonders of old, allows us to cultivate a heart of thanksgiving. As much as we are grateful for what has been, our faith calls us to gaze forward with trust and hope. We often encounter uncertainties about the future, but as Christians, we firmly believe that God's plans for us are filled with hope and promise. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 assures us, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Trusting God involves surrendering our worries and doubts to Him, believing in His infinite wisdom and love. In Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 6, we are exhorted to trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. This means trusting him not just when the path is clear and smooth, but also when it's clouded and rough. Our Savior Jesus Christ has also promised to be with us always. Matthew chapter 28 verse 20. As we look forward to the remaining months of this year 2024, that is August, September, October, November, December, we can rely on his constant presence, knowing that he holds our future in his hands and promises to work all things together for our good. Romans chapter 8 verse 28. As we end this month of July with hearts full of gratitude for the past and unwavering trust in God's plan for our future, let us remain rooted in his word and steadfast in our belief. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to 7 offers us a perfect reminder. Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. 
trusting God for what will be is the hopeful melody that keeps us moving forward, knowing that with Him our future is secure. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father. So amid the conflict, whether great or small, do not be disheartened, God is over all. Count your many blessings, angels will attend. Help and comfort give you to your journey's end. Count your blessings, name them one by one. See what God has done. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your many blessings. See what God has done. Count your blessings. Name them one by one. Count your blessings. See what God has done. Your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what. God